What is up, everybody? Welcome back to the channel, Rivas Talk Sports. Another week is down, another week is up. Is this going to be another dollar earned or another dollar donated to Vegas? But in this video, I will be giving you my top five spread picks for week three. With the first game, I am selecting the Philadelphia Eagles plus three. I understand that a lot of money is going to the New Orleans Saints as they have demolished the Panthers, demolished the Dallas Cowboys. But the one thing that those two those two teams did not have is they are not the best with time of possessions. Philadelphia Eagles are actually top five in average time of possessions, and I expect them to kill the clock and find ways to to keep the ball out of Derek Carr's hands. With Jalen Hurts and Saquon Barkley, I expect the Eagles to keep the ball on the ground, kill the clock, and continue to out-possession the New Orleans Saints. I think the Eagles keep this game close, potentially win outright, but give me the Philadelphia Eagles plus three. I do like the Eagles to play keep away in this game and cover this number. Next, I will be selecting the Green Bay Packers plus two and a half. I really like this Green Bay Packers defense. They are one of the top teams in tech takeaways, and they're going up against Reckless Levis. Um, I do think that the Packers are overall the better team. The Packers have the better coach. It's up in the air if Jordan Love will play. In my honest opinion, I think they should probably rest him, give Love another week or so, give it to Malik Willis, help him get that revenge game and win and put and win this game, but I do expect the Green Bay Packers to cover, stick to the run game plan. That worked very well for them against the Colts, and I expect Matt LaFleur to be smart with the game plan with Malik Willis if he does get the star and help him potentially get this W against his former team. Next, I will be selecting the Chicago Bears at plus one and a half. This Colts defense is looking very bad, especially with DeForest Buckner being out for quite some time. This defense is lacking some punch in the on the defensive side. I expect the Chicago Bears to keep the ball on the ground as both teams that the Colts have faced have pretty much just ran all over him the whole entire time. I do think that the Bears should stick to that game plan of keeping the ball on the ground. And I think Caleb Williams can help the Bears win this game outright, but... I have no faith in this Colts defense. Don't have much faith in Anthony Richardson as a quarterback right now. I expect the Chicago Bears defense to make life hell for him. So give me the Chicago Bears at plus one and a half. I got the Las Vegas Raiders minus five. The Panthers defense is not looking good. They gave up 40 plus points in week one, 20 plus points in week two, and they're just they're barely even hitting 20 points to even keep themselves alive in this game. I know that they benched Bryce Young. It is Andy Dalton's turn, but I cannot take the points with the Panthers until I see some life in this team. So I do expect the Las Vegas Raiders defense to kind of make the offense of the Panthers not perform as well. It's going to be a Max Crosby type game. I do like the Las Vegas Raiders to at least beat the Panthers at minimum by a touchdown. I do think that the Raiders should be able to cover the five quite easily. Next, give me the Baltimore Ravens minus one. I do like the Ravens in this game. Very hard time of them believing that they can start the season 0-3. Like I said, Lamar Jackson has 20 wins and three losses against the NFC. Lamar Jackson has a great track record against NFC teams. A lot of people don't think that the Cowboys can lose back-to-back -back home games, but this is the chance where the Ravens need to get a W or else the season is not looking too good, especially with their very hard schedule. I do expect the Baltimore Ravens to bounce back, give Lamar Jackson that 21st win against NFC teams. Give me the Baltimore Ravens minus one. Thank you so much for watching this video. If you enjoy the content, please give the video a thumbs up and comment below on your spread picks for week three. Thank you so much and catch you guys next time.